Bye, everybody. Uh, whew, what is this thing? Really not a good. Uh, Hi. So, I'm working on the customer's order for a uh, for patio cushions for patio chairs. I'll be get cold and have it for a while. So I'm working on that. What I'm doing right now is, uh, here's, let me show you the patio cushions. Like really beat up. So here is the patio cushions. She says she don't care if the tabs are on them. So I don't have to do that. So they're all worn down and beat up. And this is what I'm doing. I gotta take them off and put new fabric on it. Toss it. You can toss it. Um, I got my granddaughter doing this organization because sometimes she just think everything just fun in place. So I said, I'm gonna put you to work and you do you organize all my scrapbook paper. I don't have a large amount of scrapbook paper, but I have this one container that I'm using to put all my scrapbook paper in. So when it gets low, I'll add some more to it. So, um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. But then I'm going to show you the fabric. i got to reach up and grab the fabric really quick. Okay. Oh. I'm knocking everything over while I'm doing. Here's some new fabric that I got from your hands. Here's some new fabric. She wanted something that's durable and uh, out. This is outdoor fabric, also. So it's really thick. So I got it from Joann's. It was twenty some dollars a yard or something like that. I used my forty percent coupon, a couple coupons. So you know Joann's is terribly overpriced, right? So I'm right now. What I'm doing is uh prepping. I got one of them already off, halfway off, and I'm going to use some, I did not know, you know, what I need, I think I got some spray, I should have some spray adhesive to uh, wrap it, I think I do, if not, I'll pick some up, ah, so this is, I got a mark, this is the bottom, the C part, this is the part that the, uh, foam itself, fucking pin it open. That I gotta put, make it kind of cushy. So I'm going, I guess, like, Harmony, give me that foam right there. Are you finished? You finished? That foam right there? Right in front of you, yes, that. This, this, the foam is right there. That, 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 that you got your hand on, bring that to me. So I have something else for you to do in a little while, okay? So here's the foam that I'm going to put in between this, which I thought that I did not know this was all like batting. I thought it was foam and uh, batting wrapped around it, but this whole seat was was batting underneath of it. So that's what I'm doing, doing the prep work for this. I'm going to do one at a time. So I can see, make sure I get the details of the other one because <clears throat> it has this detail right here. This is probably, I thought this, I hope this can fit, when I'm tripping this light, will this fit up under my sewing machine, my industrial sewing machine behind me. That's why I'm kind of tripping over, but because uh, my lever, my uh, knee lever, uh, it didn't break, but something happened to it where. It's not lifting, lifting up, and I have to use the top lever to make it uh, lift up, and it don't lift up really high. So I'm hoping I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to force it. See, it don't. This is high. I had a fitting today. See, this is broke underneath here, and it don't lift up my my lever. Can you put the mask on the back of the door now, please? And it don't look up my lever. See, it's broke. It don't work. I don't know what happened to it. 
but one day it just stopped and I googled and I googled by I YouTube to see can I fix it myself and they said has I had to go and tighten a screw to uh, cause the plunger that's inside of the pan where the oil is to activate lift that up so it can force that up something I'm not a mechanic, a mechanical person, so I don't know, I might have my friend to do it for me tomorrow, uh, so we'll see how that goes, uh, I'm going to finish doing this, I did finish crocheting a dress, I told you guys I'm going to try to do a video every week for you guys, so I'll show you a crochet dress that I'm working on. And uh, every day I'll show you something, some stuff that I'm rebooting. Um, in the shop, I'm going to do the children's display later today. So let me put this to the side. Oh, I'm prepping all this stuff. I'm gonna finish taking all this batting. I'm gonna take the back. I said I'm gonna only work on one at a time. Take the batting off one of them, and then I'm gonna do the next one. Uh, I have some spray adhesive somewhere over there that I got from the Dollar Tree. I never used it. I want to see how that works. Uh, but I'm trying to keep my studio really organized. I have a lot of stuff in my studio. Uh, when I say a lot, I mean a lot of fabric. I, I got a lot of but yarn. I only buy yarn as I I need it but I do want to have a section where I have a cabinet full of yarn so uh, let me know if any, any of you guys out there want to donate yarn to me I don't care what color it is you know how I love yarn uh, crochet is a uh, second love of mine outside of sewing so I'm going to later on try to sit and design some bracelets because I have a some, I bought some new bracelet stands in the boutique and they're empty. They don't have any bracelets or any bracelets. So I really need to get on top of that for my storage. And I reorganized all my bead collection, my jewelry making uh, section. So to see exactly how much uh, beads I have, I have quite a bit of so collection of beads so that's plentiful for now because i'll never get through all those beads to tell you the truth so uh it is on some shelving that i brought from walmart i wish i would have brought two of those because it was 19.99 when i seen them on sale and uh i thought i was going to use them in the boutique but i didn't like that they was plastic in the boutique you know so i kind of brought them back out here and I had someone in my shop that was renting um, a section in my shop so um, that ended so we uh, about from September I think until February so about what four or five six months she was in my shop and she was renting a spot out so uh, that um, I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna bring in somebody else that's more organic and make stuff from scratch, like body butter and lip balm, skincare, hair care stuff. They actually make the stuff themselves, all plant based product, organic products, holistic type of products for every skin, uh, skin tone. Uh, stuff this for 4C hair. I have 4C hair, uh, so my granddaughter has 4C hair, so she makes a lot of products for that. So hopefully I can get her to do a meeting. We talked yesterday and do a meeting, and we'll see how that goes. Right. So right now I want to show you the dress. The, the uh, crochet dress that I, I have. I actually want to produce like two more. I have one already in the 
in here on my racks and I want to take it too because there's summer crochet uh, fishnet summer crochet dresses that you wear a, another little sleeveless t-shirt dress up on it so they're very pretty let me show you this one is short sleeve my other one is long sleeve I'm gonna turn on this radio because it's a little loud right There's my button in there. Oh, there okay, I gotta move this phone. This is the phone. Do I show you that I'm putting? Yeah, I'll show it to you. I'll put it in between. I'm only gonna put it in between the seat, the seat part. So let's put this here. Actually, you know, yeah, I'm gonna tell you guys. I use every inch square feet of this shop in the back. So there's no square feet only thing is wall space that I want to utilize some more some of my wall space when I run out of square feet to use I start to build up so that's what I've been doing lately is building up stacking stuff on top of each other to give myself more room to walk around uh, it's not crowded where I can walk around I can walk around uh, I have to go through some stuff and see what I don't use at all and never will use and throw away like I did before I, uh, I did it last year and I threw away a lot of stuff. I'm going to go through some stuff again in the closet and see what I'm not going to use or never will use and throw it away. So let's go look at this. I'm going to bring the mannequin over so you can dress for him so you can be able to see what I'm doing. Okay. Okay, here I come. she go okay this is her she's sure sleeve she's going to be sure sleeve as you see she's a fishnet she is she's right now she's about needling so it's about knee length, you see. It's about the same. The back is the same. I'm gonna make her a little longer. Then I have to block her. I'm going to block her so to see how that flows. When I finish, uh, probably crocheting 10 more rows. I'll probably do that later on today or when I get off the camera I'll do 10 more to see how that works out for that so for now I think this is about it uh, just I'm gonna try to keep you guys posted on everything that I'm doing uh, in a shop in a studio uh, because it's been a long time before in between that I have uh, shout out any videos to YouTube and I'm trying to stay on top of everything because life gets in the way, right? You know, so uh, ever since that coronavirus hit us, it really kind of uh, got in the way of everybody's business and uh, endeavors and stuff. So right now i am got a lot on my plate. And I try to get rest in between because I still work a third shift job for now. Uh, start Sunday through Thursday. I'm off today. So I'll talk to you guys soon. And if you like this video, hit like and subscribe to this video, okay? God bless and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye. Smash the like button.